Hello again folks, it's Mel. Welcome back to the channel. I've got a short lesson for you today. I'm going to teach you that run that I played at the end of that little ditty in the introduction, that lick in E minor. Uh, before we get into that, could I just please ask you, if you do get anything out of these videos, please remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Without further ado, we'll go to a close-up and I'll show you how to play that lick that I played. This lick uses groups of seven notes. Now, to think in terms of sevens or fives, any odd number can be quite difficult. So what we do is break them down. So we split it in half and we think of four plus three or three plus four uh, and if we're in fives we'd think of two plus three or three plus two so what we're going to do is we're going to play four notes on the fifth string starting from the third fret and we're also using a legato technique here so that's just like hammer-ons so we're going to play this C at the 3rd fret, 5th string, we're going to hammer on to the 5th and then hammer on again with the pinky finger to the 7th. <coughs> so that's 3 notes but we need to play 4. So what we're going to do then is we're going to slide that pinky finger up to fret 9. <coughs> So we're playing four notes on the fifth on the fifth string at frets three, five, seven, and nine. Now you can, if you find it easier, instead of using the pinky to slide, use the index to slide between positions one and two. So between frets three and five. And then hammer on to fret 7 and 9. It's, it's the same thing, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. It's the same effect. But we're playing four notes there. And then from here we're going down onto the fourth string, fifth fret, and we're just going to play three notes now again using hammering on so we're playing fret five hammering on to seven hammering on to nine and that's our first group of seven notes one two three four five six seven and then once we get there, we're going to repeat those three notes again on the fourth string. And now we're going to play a group of three followed by four. So now we've got three there. And then we go down to the fifth fret of the third string. And we're going to play exactly the same as what we played on the fifth string. Except now we we're on frets 5, 7, 9 and 11. And again, you can slide up with the pinky on that last one or slide up here and then finish up with a hammer on. So that's our first one. And then our second one. Then all we're going to do is repeat that exact same phrase but one octave higher. So now when we're up here at the 11th fret with the pinky, we need to come back down to the 5th fret. And that's our four note start for the next run. 
So that's our four notes. And then we play three on frets eight, 10 and 12. And now we're at the 12th fret on this B string and we do the same again. We play those three and then follow it up with four on the high E string. So now we're playing frets 8, 10, 12 and sliding up to 14. So it's the same run we're playing, just in different octaves. And then once we get here to the 14th fret, we're going to come back to the 10th fret to finish it off. We're going to play 10, 12, 14, slide up to 15 and then come back to 12. And then I took it up to the 19th fret. But you could just end it there on 12. So again, slowly. that's the run that's the leg and remember to play uh, backwards as well you can come the other way it's more difficult coming down but it's worth trying to get it <laughs> So try and play it backwards once you've, once you've got it going forwards. Takes a bit of practice, but it's not that difficult really because we're just repeating basically the same phrase over and over. So remember four notes, followed by three. Play the same three again, followed by four. Play the same four again, followed by three. Play the same three again, followed by four. And then finish it off. So anyway, go away, practice it. It's not that difficult. It just, you have to play it slowly until you get it under your fingers. Remember you're counting four plus three and then three plus four and you're alternating each time so four on the fifth string then three on the fourth string then three on the fourth string and four on the third string four again on the third string three on the second string then three again on the second string four on the first string and then finish it off uh, but you can use portions of it, like I said, and then just mix it and combine it with your regular quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes in your regular E minor pentatonic, for example, or your E minor scale or your E blues scale, whatever. Uh, you can start then to incorporate this and mix and match with other scales. It's a useful little lick to know. But that's it from me today, that's a lesson from me today. I'm going to be taking a couple of weeks off from YouTube now. Uh, so there'll be no video next week and the week after. And possibly the week after that, see how I feel and see how I am time wise. Uh, but hopefully I should be back in about three weeks time. That's all from me today. Please do subscribe if you got anything out of this lesson. And I'll see you in about three weeks' time on a Friday. Thanks for watching again, and bye for now.